Mr. Muhammad Na'arif So today I will um, I will explain about the introduction about uh, distribution sub, sub, substation and uh, distribution substation usually uh, operates in a voltage levels 2.4 uh, to 3.5 3.5 kilovolt so it have a very high amount of uh, voltage so this consume the big place to make the substation so for the first thing is um, the first substation is uh, literally we use a uh, supply line uh, transformers, bus bar, switch gear, outcoming feeders, switching apparatus, switches such as switches, fuse, uh, circuit breaker and such voltage protection and grounding. So in this uh, power substation we must know about the supply line. The supply line is always the, the, the main thing in the substation so it will be the first thing that connect to the primary to the sub transmission network just so it's very very uh, crucial in this moment so the supply line is uh, to connect all the system transformers uh, transmission and uh, everything to connect each other so <coughs> uh, second thing is a uh, transformer so transformers is uh, to step down the high voltage uh, the high voltage to step down to the low voltage so it can contain uh, however it have a three phase transformer single phase transformer banks can however it can be used so in the bus bar bus bar it also can be found in power grid uh, from generation to manufacturing but uh, bus bar is a switch gear or equipment multiple circuit bus bar were originally made up of explosive copper conductor supported on the insulator so uh, we see the uh, switch gear switch gear is a general term of the primary switching and interrupting instrument so it maybe have a, a system that control all the main thing in the in the substation so it have a outcoming feeders outcoming feeders to uh, to put uh, to contain the service point and uh, have a switch apparatus switch apparatus is uh, to uh, such as a uh, switches and uh, all the search all the operation and also on so that's all for me thank you okay hi it's Meko I'm Ishida so today I want to present the component of substation okay First, we have transformer. Function of transformer is to decrease high current for secure value from voltage. Second, we have lighting arrester. It protects the system from harm and can stop the amplitude of current. Also, can protect the system uh, from passing the high voltage. Third, we have circuit breaker. This is an uh, important components because it can separate the flow if the system have the error next we have bus bar benefit of using the bus bar because the bus bar can connect with many conductor because the conductor can fix the system which isolate the entire of the system in the quiet time then we have isolator batteries and switch yard Function of isolator is to break current charging of the line of transmission. As usual, battery give the voltage for the system. It used to transmit the power which generate from the substation at the preferred level of voltage. Okay, then we have relay, capacitor bank, and insulator. Relay is to protect the device from damage and hazard. Capacitor bank is to store the energy to give the system for running. Insulator is to insulate and fixing the bus bar in the system substation. My name is Amir Aiman and I will continue uh, to present about important factor in design of distribution substation. Okay, Distri distribution substation architecture must be a combination of power supply reliability, 
power supply reliability and efficiency, safety, economics, maintainability, operational simplicity and functionality. Okay, life security and property safety are the two most important consideration in substation architecture. Okay, there are a few uh, important factor in designing a distribution substation. Okay, the first one is uh, planning for a new substation. Uh, there are two main reasons for a new substation. First is uh, an increase in electric load growth in the area. And the second one is to replace existing substation which already outdated or obsolete. Okay, the basic step a uh, utility perform in planning and implementing a new substation are conduct planning meeting, perform load flow power studies, determine the substation size and total footprint required, including transmission right of way, determine substation configuration, allocate required fund for real estate purchase planning, engineering, construction, implementation, etc. Uh, next, determine the location of area and acquire the real estate including right of way. Uh, uh, create the substation project with scheduled milestone and in service date. Assign the project team resource with in house staff, external staff, or contracted or contractor. Uh, begin engineering and design of substation drawing, package, and deliveries. The de deliverable. Perform a final design review meeting along with a pre-construction meeting. And finally, construct, test and implement new substation. Okay. Uh, so the first one is planning. Uh, the next step is operating uh, or design limit. Okay. Following the uh, following are the operating and design limit that should be considered in order to provide safe working condition. There are seven uh, limits or operating design limit and interrupting device must be able to function safely and properly under the most severe duty to which they may be exposed. Uh, okay. uh, next, accidental contact with energized conductors should be eliminated by means of enclosing the conductor by, by installing protective barriers and interlocking. Uh, the third one, the substation should be designed so that maintenance work on circuit and equipment can be accomplished with this circuit and equipment de-energized and grounded. Okay, fourth, uh, warning signs should be installed on electric equipment accessible to both qualified and unqualified personnel. Okay, so the warning sign can be mounted on fence, uh, fences surrounding electric equipment on access door to electrical room and on conduits or cable above uh, 600 volt in areas that are, uh, that include other equipments. Okay. Uh, next, an adequate grounding system must be installed. Emergency light should be provide, provided where necessary to protect against sudden lighting failure. And lastly, operating and maintenance. Uh, operating and maintenance personnel should be provided with complete operating and maintenance instruction including wiring diagrams, equipment rating and protective device setting. Okay. Uh, the third, uh, the third uh, factor is uh, substation standards, standardization. Okay. Uh, okay. In electrical, uh, in designing a substation, uh, a company uh, should ad adhere to a list of uh, standards. Okay. The first one are the, Insti the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers or IEEE. Okay. Uh, the IEEE involves in uh, planning, research, development, construction, installation, and operation of equipment and system for the safe, reliable and economic generation, transmission, distribution, measurement and control of elastic, electric energy. Okay. Uh, the second one, 
uh, the National Electrical Manufacturer Association or NEMA. Okay, uh, the NEN, uh, the NEMA provides a forum for the de development of technical standard that are in the best interest of industry and users. Uh, third, uh, American National Standard Institute, more commonly known as ANSI, A N S I. Okay, uh, so ANSI supervises the creation. Enactment and use of thousands of standards and guidelines which directly impact businesses in almost every sector, including energy distribution. Fourth is National Fire Protection Association (NFPA), uh, which is a, an international non-profit organization founded in 1896 to reduce the global burden, the global burden of fire and other quality of life hazard by offering promoting consensus codes and standard science education and training uh, fifth international electrotechnical commission iec uh, which provide a forum for companies industry and government to meet debate and develop international standard they need and uh, the last one is inter international Org organization for standardization or uh, better known as ISO uh, the information and communication technology agency of the United Nations and the global focal point focal point for government and the private sector in the development of network and services uh, that's all for me thank you hi my name is Mama Khairul Haziq I want to discuss about the advantage and disadvantage of the substation diagram. Okay, as we know, the selected of the distribution substation is considered about the safety, cost, uh, economy, the sustainability, which is uh, expand of the substation. So, uh, to consider about it, uh, first we must determine the selected of the substation diagram. Okay, before the actual, which is the physical arrangement of the switching, busing of the distribution substation. Okay, there are a few type of the uh, diagram of the substation uh, which is first is single bus double bus double breaker main and transfer double bus single breaker ring bus and breaker and half scan okay there are a few of uh, a few more about the diagram but i want to uh, discuss about this uh, diagram only okay uh, from this uh, diagram selected, uh, there are pro and contra, which is uh, advantage and disadvantage for this uh, six six uh, diagram that I want to discuss uh, today. Okay, for the first is uh, single bus diagram. Uh, the advantage of single bus is lower cost. Uh, for the disadvantage is the shutdown of the entire substation because of the failure of bus or any circuit breaker. Uh, second, the difficulty in performing any maintenance work. Uh, then, uh, it's also limited use where load can be interrupt or have other supplement arrangement. Uh, the inability to be extend without completely de-energize the substation also the disadvantage of the single bus diagram okay the second diagram is double bus double breaker diagram the advantage for this diagram is a uh, breaker that can be taken out of service for maintenance the breaker okay second is high reliability uh, then uh, two dedicated breaker in each circuit for this diagram okay for the disadvantage is the cost is high and the second is the loss of half the circuit for the breaker failure if the circuit are not connected to both bus. 
For the third diagram is main and transfer bus diagram. The advantage is its low initial and ultimate cost. Uh, the breaker that can be taken out of the service for maintenance also like a second diagram. Uh, then the potential device that can may be used on the main bus for relay. Okay, for the, the advantage is it require more one extra breaker for the Thai bus. Second is switching that is somewhat the complicated when maintaining a breaker. Uh, then the failure of bus or any circuit breaker resulting in the shutdown of the entire substation. Okay, for the next uh, diagram is double bus single breaker diagram. Uh, the advantage is some flexibility with two operating buses. Then uh, the ability of either main bus to be as late for maintenance. Okay. Uh, next, the, for the disadvantage is one extra breaker required for the bus tie. Uh, second, four switches required per circuit. Uh, and disadvantage also high exposure to bus fault. Uh, the line breaker also failure taking all circuit connected to the bus out of service. The fifth uh, diagram is ring bus diagram. The advantage is low initial and ultimate cost. The ability for any breaker to be removed for maintenance without interrupting the load. Uh, next, the requirement of uh, only one breaker per circuit. Uh, and all circuit that are fit by two breaker. Uh, and it's also ability to run without using the main bus. Okay, for the, the disadvantage is uh, the ability of the ring to be separated into two sections if a fault occur during a breaker maintenance period. Uh, next, the complex automatic reclosing and protective relaying circuitry. Okay. Okay, the next uh, diagram is breaker and a half a diagram the advantage is most flexibility operating high reliability all switching being performed with breaker no removal of any feeder circuit from service during bus failure it's also simple operation without disconnecting switching for normal operation Okay, for this the disadvantage is 1.5 breaker per circuit and relaying and automatic reclosing that are uh, some, somewhat uh, involved by the middle breaker must be responsive to either of its associate circuit. This is the disadvantage of this breaker and a half uh, diagram. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Akif Akmal Hakimi bin Saizan. I'm glad to be here today to share and discuss with you guys about the poster that me and my team have designed for our EPM project. But first, let's take a look at the poster that we have designed. So, this is the poster that me and my team have designed. Quite colorful, isn't it? So, the title for our poster is Function of Distribution Substation. And the topic this poster show is about the component of substation. The two yellow rectangular box is about the abstract and introduction to substation, while the circle that has eight table in it is about the component. We point out only eight component to be put into the poster, but there are more actually, but we decide to put only the important component in substation into our poster. So let's go through it. The first box is about power transformer. The second is circuit breaker. The third is station buses and insulator. The fourth is station batteries. The fifth is shunt reactor. The sixth is protective relays. The seven is line cut, and lastly is lightning arrester and or gap. As you can see, each box is 
provided by explanation which is talk about the role of the component itself we also have provided the image for each component which can help the reader to know how it looks like in real life so that's this is the poster that we have designed so that's all thank you